a fine situation that I uh, was uh, forced to cut short. Um, and one thing in particular that I was very ready to instigate last time, uh, I realized there was no way to do it justice. And I enjoyed both of your personal appearances last time. But this time, things are going to be a little bit different. I would like to take up with um, briefly glancing at... Um, glancing at Carl Henrik, who is noting the shocking news from uh, from Karlsborg over yep. in Latvia. The shocking news that, you know, some sort of extremely dramatic event is occurring there um, that is receiving an, a, a, an extreme official response. And you know, you were just in the files of the KSI, which uh, included ancient files back when the precursor to the KSI, one of them, T. Contorip and E.B., were, uh, had offices in that same fortress before uh, S. Ogi existed, who currently is the official, has the official headquarters there. So, um, so you know, I mean, you were just looking at these files of, you know, Bent Berenson was actually mobilized out of that same fortress. And that's and, the same and, place that just like on the news right now is top news. Uh, and and to, to get back to that, but what actually happened was, is that this may be some kind of attack? Or no, there it... was, there's no known attack or explosion or anything like that, um, except that there are atmospheric effects that are getting contradictory reports. Uh, furthermore, that uh, the, the town of Karlsborg and presumably some of the fortress staff have been evacuated and the uh, police and security services have put up roadblocks and control on travel throughout the area. So, so weird was, stuff is happening. Say that again, please. Weird stuff is happening. Oh yeah. So so mm -hmm. so before so, we yeah. that so I just want to glance at Carl Henrik, you know, looking. Yeah. You know, as I recall, you shut off your computer as quickly as you could after discovering where you were. You know, yeah. and looking only at those details that that were important to you, but they yeah, concerned, but they concerned this this person, and yeah. one of the critical points of information is where was he mobilized from? Where was this, yeah. you know, actually carried out? And that yeah, so, and, when, and when we say when we're talking about carried out, it was like him going into the space where he's actually in right. out. Yes. All right. And so Carl's so, point. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And so then at the same time, roughly, um, I want to go to Havsmanen, who is yep. in a uh, motorized boat with Hank mm -hmm. East and a driver. Uh, you have yep. just gently informed him that no, you will not be putting on electrical probes and <laughs> monitored in all sorts of un <laughs> yes. unholy ways. Um, yes. And uh, he is uh, explaining to you, remember, about how your grandfather uh, was having an effect that was kind of driving people crazy when they went mm -hmm. down. You, you swim down there and you go into his telepathic field and you receive his thoughts. Okay. And they'd love to find a way to like receive that automatically, but they can't. They have to use people. And so they've yeah. been doing this for a long time. And um, but recently the people have been coming back, you know, with their minds wrecked and um and and they are getting a lot with well, the information they are getting is very disturbing and uh dangerous sounding. And so basically they went to go get you. Yes. Figuring that, you know, if anybody can talk to him, it would be you. And so the hope is that you will be willing, you know, to work with them uh, for his benefit. Of course, if some of the poor men, something might be wrong. <laughs> yes. 
and um, something might be. Um, uh, my 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 intention would be to um, I don't know uh, where we are uh, on the clock, uh, but I w my 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 idea was to try to uh, see what sort of uh, premonition or connection I could get uh, during my next uh, sleep. I understand that, uh, but uh, yeah. but you are assuming that we are closing there because we are not. Uh, the uh, absolutely. The what I, I I'm sure you will be pleased to know that uh, an incredibly uh, unnatural uh, you could mm -hmm. not possibly have anticipated this uh, 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 some sort of massive phenomenon has created uh, in an incredible wave uh, a, a, uh, a an astounding. Ooh. An astounding wave and an amazing up, you know, uprush of water, rearrangement of water, um, and the boat is completely helpless in the face of wow. this. It's it, it okay. is just the water fills the sky from the ocean. It just booms upward, and the the whole situation is completely uh, uh, changed. You know, the boat is flung through the air and in any position turning in the air and land yep. probably engulfed in water somewhere and who knows where anyone is and you are you know floundering in the water uh you okay. are a super swimmer you have yep. great swimming and you will have no more problem orienting no more problem staying safe than a flying character in you know, in turbulence, they they can do it. It is, uh, it is. You know, I may uh, I may require a, a basic perception roll to orient yourself a little bit. Okay. Um, so go ahead and roll the three die six for just basic perception. Uh, Eleven. Yes, that is no problem. So therefore, you know, with, you hit the water probably in a controlled mm -hmm. way. You know, as soon as the boat yeah. goes up in the air, you're just yeah. already in a dive, I would imagine. Yeah. And I'm um, taking my chances with the wave instead of sticking with the boat. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. you know, you're able to ride one of the waves of the sub wave, the secondary mm -hmm. waves, and pop your head up when you want to or stay down and look, go look where you want. And so... Mm -hmm. Uh, these, these, which is kind of cool because you're like this big kind of clumsy looking man, but the second you're in the water, right, it's just like you mm -hmm. completely. Yeah. And I and I would probably water. like to try to uh, see where, you know, out from where whence the when wave came, absolutely, uh, yeah. just to see what what's going on there. Uh, well, that's really not too hard because an extraordinarily giant form is heaving itself upward and forward in your direction um, and is uh, this this form is uh, only partly humanoid it is almost all uh, a, a curious mix of uh, it's got the long elongated form of a fish but the the tentac the tentacles are mm -hmm. you know are significant um, and it's too vast at the moment and moving too quickly and you are not at the right kind of place to see this in fully but the uh but the impression you may properly have you probably enough details that it is this is probably your grandfather probably on the move on the go and uh and and clearly not doing so gently um mm -hmm. and the only other uh thing i will say about that is that of uh, many other beings, many other entities about your size are streaking through the water and bursting out of the water and up into the air and zooming away. Mm -hmm. Again, toward the shore. Um, you okay. are still out in the open water, remember. You are not exactly mm -hmm. next to um, Birke, but yep. you are closer to there than anywhere else yeah right so okay but are they are they bursting out out of the water are they flying as well it's streaking through the air okay uh, so i'll water in some cases yeah 
Um, they they look like uh, uh, you know surrealistic mm-hmm. surrealistic aquatic people. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> leaving leaving streaks. I mean, surrealistic in the sense that they don't like actually like flap their arms or they they zoom and and rainbow streaks are left behind them. I mean, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Right? So it, okay, it's, and and I can just see you there, like in the water, going, what what the hell, right? What's that? Yeah. So um, and it's, and remember, Rune is enormous. Your grandfather is yeah. enormous. Godzilla enormous. Yep. Yep. Well, maybe not that big, but but pretty big. Like, pretty big, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, like a small Godzilla. So, so that I, I understand, is there like something coming towards Gothenburg now? Oh yes, yes. A very like uh, um, a tsunami of psychedelic underwater people. <laughs> yes, and, there and you go. Your big friend, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess that I'm still on in Got- Gothenburg. You are what? Yeah, my- you are you are wondering what the hell is happening at Vatten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, am I? Is this something that I, uh, with my my awareness, so to say, feel? No, or your awareness is to- local. You do not have regional awareness. All right. So I have to wait you- for. A- You'll have and, to, uh, you have to get more power to be able to feel the disturbance, yeah. right? <laughs> well, yeah. You have to really give me a call under the water with your <laughs> waterproof right. phone. Who knows? Okay. I, will, I will wait for my cue then. Well, um, maybe so, or you can take your own actions based on the other things happening as well. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the one thing that I... I the, my immediate thought when I see the, the thing on the news is... I want like we we need to meet. Right. <laughs> I mean, we we, yeah. we we just made a call and we try to like I've been away, but we now we we need to team up. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot yeah. going on. Just, here. just a just a little bit busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably it, it right seems now, absolutely. But... I will say that it is absolutely sensible to assume that Havsman <laughs> uh, has a a a, a telephone. That you know he is that is reasonably waterproof. You know it, it <coughs> might not it might not survive a trip down to a hundred meters, but on no. the other hand, it can get wet and not be destroyed. I suspect yep. that you you put some effort into this. Otherwise, yes. your life would be complete hell. So <laughs> it would be tricky. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so what I'm doing, I'm 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 just. Uh, you, uh, Remember, yeah, I remembered your number. I, I've not put it in my phone, right? so I'm I'm calling you up again, and uh, that that and I I guess I'm doing that while you're underwater. So <laughs> seems best like it. You, at best uh, you can see that I'm calling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, I, don't know, and, I wonder what's on your display. <laughs> 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 is the picture of a cosmonaut, or yes, is it like it's just a, a, I don't know. It's just a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys um, really don't practice cybersecurity. I must have. To, I must point this out. No, no. Uh, I practice cybersecurity, <laughs> but you don't. Yeah, exactly. Right? I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah Mr. I don't. Yeah, your cosmonaut's pretty well protected with computer programming as a skill, but yeah. You, just gets called. Uh, that's not yeah. my jam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I, I, what I was trying to do, but now I realize if, if Gramps is that size, he's probably above water, even if he's walking away from here or swimming. Uh, but what I would like to do was trying to to his face and communicate somehow Excellent. or get close enough to mm-hmm. communicate. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I don't know. Maybe that's just a kneecap. If I'm in the water and he's standing up. No, no, it's not like that. no. You're it, it is not. The water where you are is still deep enough. Okay. That then I will try to swim up to his face. He's mostly no. submerged. Um, his okay. shape has changed a bit. The the enormous head is now more like a octopus. You know. Okay. Streaming yeah. backward uh, rather than this Jeez. spread out brain. 